Building Your Email Marketing List. Building an email marketing list is one of the smartest things a small business can do. When you get your customers and prospective customers permission to send information to them about your company, you have a golden opportunity to be their first choice when they look for your goods or services. Most people believe that they are getting too much email already, so they have a natural inclination to not want to receive more email. The way to get over this hurdle has two parts. The first part is before they have signed up. You want to give them an incentive to sign up for your business email list. This can be a discount off of a purchase or an outright gift that either brings them into your business or promotes the usage of the products you sell. Be sure to make this incentive a good one. In another video, we will talk about the dangers of creating a lame incentive. So assuming you have a good sign up incentive, you need to get it out where it can be seen. The first place is in your business, especially at the point of transaction. You should make a noticeable sign for your email sign up list and have your staff remind people of the incentive for signing up when completing their transaction. The next place is on your website. Having a form that adds names to your email marketing list can be a simple script that you install or can be provided to you by your email service provider. We have another video on what to look for from an email service provider, but for now, all you need to understand is that it's fairly easy to post an email sign-up form on your website. The second hurdle to building an email marketing list is providing information that your recipient will consider to be of value on an ongoing basis. If you use an email service provider that follows the can spam laws, and we recommend that you do, every email that you send out will have an unsubscribe link at the bottom. This means that every email you send has the possibility of causing your subscribers to remove themselves from your list, so it's vitally important that every email is valuable. One way to make your emails valuable is to offer important information about your products and services in the emails themselves. If you are a CPA specializing in small businesses, you may want to have a monthly mailing of tips of what to do to organize and maximize the efficiency of your records. Another item of value is to have email specials that are only available to email subscribers. One other key point to remember in email marketing is to deliver on a regular schedule. People expect things to happen regularly like magazines, TV shows, and newspapers. It's easy to let something slide and then time passes and you realize you haven't gotten out an email to your customers in a few months. Once this happens, it's hard to gain back your subscribers' trust in you. That's why it's better to get an email out to your customers once a month on a regular schedule than to try to get out a weekly email that you don't have time to put together. I mentioned the Can Spam Act earlier. This is a law that establishes requirements for commercial messages. We recommend that you spend some time reading up on this law because it does apply to you. The link is included on your video checklist. And while we're on the subject of unsolicited email, also known as spam, keep in mind that even though someone may have signed up for your email list, that doesn't mean that they won't mark your email as spam. People forget that they signed up or they are too lazy to unsubscribe and it's easier in some email software programs to just hit the spam button. We go into more detail about this issue in our email service providers video, but for now just realize that's the way people are. Email marketing may be old school internet marketing, but it still can be wildly successful for those who make the effort to do it right. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video, which includes more information and resources.